Welcome to ADMC Investigations. I want to thank all of you for watching. We put out weekly interrogation videos. We have a lot of exclusive content that you've never seen before coming just like this. So if you're a fan of consistent content, make sure you subscribe. The absolute best way to support this channel is to subscribe. And if you appreciate what we're doing here, the only violence that I'll ever condone is you assaulting that like button. That lets us know that we're moving in the right direction. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get into it. This interrogation took place in Jacksonville, Florida on December 4th, 2021 with Rondell Paris. Rondell had his ex-girlfriend and their child over at his house to spend time with the child and he went through her phone and saw that she had been talking with another man. An argument then ensued. Rondell is being accused by his ex-girlfriend of aggravated battery, domestic violence by strangulation, false imprisonment, and child abuse without great bodily harm. As always, there is more information in the description below for those that would like to know more about the outcome of this case. This is how Rondell's interrogation went. Go ahead, lean against the wall right there. Yeah. Before you take them off, I'm just gonna show you. Good. Anything missed, bro? No, sir. Let me show you something. All right. Go ahead. Need some water or anything? He's okay. Okay. You good on water? Okay. He's like, you gotta eat for three days. Three days. Yeah. yeah. Stress, bro. Right? Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. I'm good. I'm good to it. I'll take a seat real quick. Yeah, she is. Right, we're back. What's up, man? Bullshit, bro. All right, I'm going to talk to you real quick and get this figured out. All right. This. My baby boy, man. We're doing fine right now. All right, so let me just start with some basic information. All right, I'm touching petty. All right, I'm with Special Assault Unit. All right, um, just going to get some basic information from you real quick and talk about what happened, okay? All right, what's your name, man? Randall Paris. Randall Paris. Okay. You have any nicknames? Smurf. Hmm? Smurf. Smurf? Yeah. My name's Okay. And what's your address? 2828 Cherokee Circle. East. All right, what's your cell phone number? Six zero seven three eight five five one four seven. Oh, it's like it's not. It says six zero seven three five five one four seven. All right, you for the work number by chance? I don't know about artists on my phone. It's all good. <clears throat> I do have a job though. I'm gonna get to that part next. Date of birth six eighteen ninety three. So makes you about what? 28. 28. There you go. What's your height? 5'5. Weight? Uh, 180. Okay, black and brown. Alright. So you got uh, tattoos? I do. Is that faith on the right arm? Yeah. Right. What else you got? Just a sleeve on the left arm? Three days. Stress and bullshit, man. What's, what's your social, man? Okay. 
Where'd you last go to school at? Franklin High School. Franklin High? Yeah. That's in Rochester? Yeah. Okay. So you got some college? So you read and write, of course. Um, wear glasses or have any contacts or anything? No. Oh. Oh. Take any kind of drugs at all? No. Oh. Oh. Oh, any kind of medication? No. Oh. She is, though. But she hasn't been taking any. Citrine. But you don't know that, right? No. How about alcohol? Do you drink? Today, yeah, I do. How about today? Occasionally. How about today? You drunk some today? Um, I had a beer earlier. Did you not drunk right now? No. I had a beer that was this morning. Though. Uh, you have any kind of mental health problems at all? No. No? She does. Baby's fine. Baby's fine, yeah. All right, man. So um, I know that everybody your rights out there, but I got to do it too, okay? All right, that's cool. All right, so I'm real quick. I'm ready to go lay down. I, I got you. Like, I got you. Get something to eat Because I, I honestly, I feel like it's unfair. Like, she playing the field right now, and mm -hmm. I ain't playing victim, and that's not the case. Like, I got videos. I like I've been being abused, bro. Like for real, like going back at least a few years. Like I've got, I got cuts. I she just pulled out my hair today. When all this, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit is just ridiculous. All right. Let me go ahead and just read you your rights. All right, and then go from there. Okay. All right, real quick, you read the first line for me. So just sign here and just saying you understand your rights. That's all you're signing to say. All right. So you guys are from uh, from New York, both of y'all. Yeah. So you had to move down here recently. Uh, we, heard. Moved, we moved down here in April, and I left her in August because it was abusive. I came back because she said she needed help with the baby. Um, since then, um, I found out she had, was being evicted from the place that she was living at. Mm -hmm. Um, we stayed in the hotel. I moved. Um, she's been staying with her friend. I don't know who she is. Um, but anyway, it's just a long story, bro. And it's like, I've been dealing with it, like today. Look at my hair, bro. And it's crazy because men normally don't report being abused and shit like that. Like, people think it's a game. I've been cutting my face by her. You know what I'm saying? Like, no cap. Like, I'm a whole nigga. And, like, today it was just like, I'm, like, you're not just about to beat on me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, mm -hmm. shit happens. You And it's just wild how it's been happening. I've been calling and making reports about the whole situation. You filed for an injunction, didn't you? Yeah, I had to go down and file for an injunction. But this, the thing with that is, right, she hit me with the your baby birthday. Now, that's why I hold, the whole reason why I came back was because of my baby anyway. You feel me? Like, I haven't been fucking with her. I left because of the situation it was toxic. Yeah. So, today, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, we rapped last night. She like, oh, I want you to spend your birthday with your baby. But she been talking to my baby mom up in Rochester. She started hitting me with the these talking about bitches that I've been fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like that's always been an argument. Every time she put her hands on me, I feel like she wanna put her hands on me. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of the ten, I I be like, why are you doing this? You feel me? But today, shit, I'm not about to just. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't what she was here for. You know what I'm saying? Like this cut in my face and my nose that came from her. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit, not a game. Majority of the marks on my face come from her. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Nine times out of the 10, nine times out of the 10, I'm like, I'm the one like this. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I went down and filed for the injunction because she had jumped on me, bang, 
coming back. She leave and come back. Now today was the <coughs> today was pretty much the get to it all. You know what I'm saying? Because the shit happened. My car got hit. You know what I'm saying? So we get back to the crib. The whole while we was driving in the car, she had been arguing with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all these bitches, da 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 da. You like white and bright, like that's how she talked to me. You know what I'm saying? And the car was turning this way, but decided he wasn't gonna turn and go straight. And you had the accent today? Yeah. Okay. You called, you called and reported it. I called and uh, talked to my insurance company. Okay. Um, so what happened then? I tried to call um, the police, but they didn't come inside. You know what I'm saying? So went to the crib. We standing outside talking in front of my house. My neighbor came out. I don't know her name, but I spoke to her when Felina broke into my house and stole all my new my studio equipment. She stole my laptop. I put out a report. You know what I'm saying? She took my mm -hmm. laptop. She took my monitors. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She didn't have a right to even be there. Right. You know what I'm but saying? today, though, what happened today? Today, she gets to the crib and we standing outside in front of the house talking. You know what I'm saying? We go in, everything good. You know what I'm saying? She's still bringing up the shit that happened in New York. And I'm like, yo, you been out here fucking off on niggas. Why would I, you know what I'm saying? Like, you tripping over something that happened then. You know what I'm saying? And that was way then. You should have left that there. You, I can care about who you fucking off on now. You know what I'm saying? That's not mm -hmm. the case. Oh, da 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 Around this time last year, before your son was born, you had just fucked off on this bitch and you had a baby. Blah, 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 blah. Now, so, so now she, you know what I'm saying? She up and she in my face, bitch ass nigga, just talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? It went from that to her throwing blows, grabbing me by my hair. You know what I'm saying? So now. Outside or inside? We in the house now. It's in the house, okay. We in the house. So we in the living room area. You know what I'm saying? She claimed I had a track on her phone. I never had a track on her phone. You got a lock on your phone. You got iPhones. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. you need a you need a code to get in the place. Mm -hmm. We fighting in the living room. You know what I'm saying? She, Why are y'all fighting for? We fighting over bitches. Okay, so who? Sorry, bitches you're saying that she came bitches, to you and just started hitting the you. The bitches and the niggas that we be we been fucking off on. Like I've been fucking with bitches. And she been fucking off with and doing whatever she wanna do. It's not really my concern. Like I said, I really y'all were arguing about both. We was arguing about both. That's okay. where the initial conversation started at. And I'm like, well, so what about the bitches that I've been fucking? You been fucking off on niggas, so it don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? She didn't like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So she felt like I'm disrespecting her. And that's when she started, you know what I'm saying, getting physical. I'm trying to cover up. How did it start? Just tell me how it started. started. She popped off on me. Okay, where at? She stood up and she popped off on me. Were you, you sitting down or standing up? I was standing up. Okay. So you saying, yeah, you were standing up. She, she was sitting she, down. She wasn't sitting down okay. originally. You know, she right. had done already got in my face. Like I said, right. she got up and when the nigga they went to talking crazy to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? She popped off <clears> on me. <throat> we went there going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, she grabbed my hair. We went to the ground, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, the hammer, the, that's why her hand like that, because she had a hammer in her hand. I had to get the hammer out of her hand. By that time, the baby had done stood up in the car seat while I'm trying to get the hammer from her. She on the ground, I'm trying to get the hammer from her. He fell out of the car seat. I finally got the hammer. I shot the shit outside in the front yard because she had it in her hand. Mm -hmm. I picked the baby up. And the door was wide open, you know what I'm saying? Because I be wanting my neighbors to know what go on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just me, you know what I'm saying? She played a large part in this, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of 10, she hit me first and putting her hands on me. That's why, and like I said, I got videos that go like the last few weeks uh, her just ranting and raving, putting her hands on me. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't been saying nothing. That's why I went down and filed for the injunction. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just nonsense, bro. So, um, so the baby stood up out of the car seat? He stood up right. like this while we was on the floor. Now, I'm on her like this, trying to get the hammer out right. of her hand. She had the hammer in her hand. I was trying right. to get the hammer out of her hand. He was over here in the car seat. The car seat sit on top of the stroller like that. Right. Now, 
she put him in there originally because she wanted to jump on me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she done, she done put the baby down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Done put him in the car seat and now she in my shit. Oh, you're not just about to dish it. It ain't no so what that you was fucking off. Yes, it is because you say the same thing. You saying you did something after I did it. You know what I'm saying? But we way in Florida. You bring that shit here. I didn't come here for that. I came here for something different. Like my mom was just telling me, you brought your problem with you. You know what I'm saying? I originally was trying to get out of the situation. She lied to police. I knocked her teeth out. She had partials. I don't know where they went when we was fighting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Her teeth not even real. They were partials. You know what I'm saying? But it's just bullshit. Man. Like, I can't even believe it. Like, so, so finish the story. What happened? All right, so baby stand up in the car seat. And he turned around in the car seat. Now, I see him standing up, but I'm trying to get the hammer out of her hand. Once I got it, I shot it, but by that time he had done already fell mm -hmm. and hit the ground. You saw him fall? Huh? You saw him fall? Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I turned around, I heard him screaming, you know what I'm saying? I seen him standing up, but I was on the floor trying to get the hammer. So you, basically, like, you didn't see him fall, but you're saying that you I, saw him standing up. I seen him. And at some point you got distracted, and then you turn around, he's screaming. I, I turned around, around, he was already on the ground. Okay. So Was he on a hard floor or carpet? It was, it, we got a hard, it's a hard floor. It's not carpet. So when he hit the ground, you know what I'm saying? I didn't really, I was focused on getting the hammer. Cause I didn't want to get hit with it. She had done already swung it, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, at me. And right. we wound up going to the floor and fighting about this shit. I shot it outside. I picked the baby up. By this time, you know what I'm saying? She's still going, like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm holding the baby, you know what I'm saying? I done right. picked him up already and I'm like, yo, his head, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, she like, I'm about to go. And I'm like, you're not about to just run out there. We got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm about to leave. You're not just about to, no, you're not just about to leave. He just fell, bust his shit open. Like, what part of that don't you understand? I'm about to leave. Well, I'm going to break this window right here. Like, we need to go to the hospital. So I finally go to the front door, you know what I'm saying? And she... Damn, that pushed me through the door and I still had the baby in my hand. Mm -hmm. That's how he got the bump on his head because I was holding him. Did he him. fall again? He didn't fall. He was in my arms when she pushed me. I was going towards the door like this with the baby. She was coming behind me because we were at the back door. She said she was going to break the window and she was leaving. I'm like, you're not just about to leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not the case here. So I'm holding him like this, going towards the front door and she... And I hit the door with him like this. And then I'm like, yo, like, and now she, she done took off and she ran. I'm like, yo, like you just ran him and ran us into the fucking door. Like, so basically you was, okay. So real quick. So basically you were in front of the door cause she was trying to leave. And you're saying no, you finna just leave out of here not just when this child is he hurt just like this, got right? Hurt. And, you, and, and she trying to just leave. She just, she was trying to get out the back. So when I walked to the front door, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm about to, he need help. You know what I'm saying? He just fell, bust his shit wide open. You still acting crazy. So I'm about to go, go to the car. That's why I'm going. You're not just about to run off. You know what I'm saying? But she felt like I was trying to keep her in the house. That wasn't the case. You're going to go with me because we're going to have to tell them what happened. We were, we were fighting and right. he fell out of his car seat. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So when I was walking to the front door, she straight by me. All right. So basically, you're saying that you were not trying to keep her from leaving, but at the same time, you're trying to make sure she don't just run out the front door and, and leave you with the, the baby. baby. Okay. So you did block her from leaving, like trying to get out the house? I wasn't blocking her from leaving out the house. The door was clear to go through. I was walking. I was walking. You could take a seat. Take a seat. I was walking. Guys, I'm demonstrating. I was walking through the door to the door. You know what I'm saying? Because by that time, we had already, like, okay, we about to go outside. She mm -hmm. just took straight off past me, right. pushed me to the door and ran over to the neighbor's house. Now, mind you, my neighbors, they've been seeing it. Where she came, she kicked my door in. Like, it's just been thing after thing since we moved out of here. It was before we moved here. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then she played a victim card. But I, like, I was told to record situations. You record that? I ain't have a chance to. With your phone? Uh, is your phone on right now? My phone dead right now. It's dead? It'll okay. die. How long was your phone dead for? Um, it just died. Well, I'm saying then, during the fight, was it dead? During the fight, it yeah. was in, I couldn't find it. I was looking for it. Okay. I didn't find it till after the fact. 
Okay. Um, but again, you. All right, like I said, I'm not, I'm not I saying never Melissa, from but, the, I but never, you, but you did tell her she ain't leaving, correct? I said you're not just about to leave me with the baby. I didn't say it like you're not leaving. I said you're gotcha. not just about to walk out of here and leave me with this baby. Gotcha. It's not happening. And she ran past you. She pushed past me. After I opened the door, I was headed out the door with the baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I had him in my arms. Okay. I never gotcha. just st tried to stop her personally from leaving. Like you're not just leaving. No. Mm -hmm. So how long been going on, man? Y'all been dating for about five years? Been, well, dating for about Off and on about five years? Yeah, but she okay. been beating me since the beginning, bro. Like, I got proof, like, and it's crazy because, like, I had to get my hair crocheted back in because she ripped it all out at one point. Why so, you leave, man? I did, bro, but, like, it's crazy because she called me all the way back. <laughs> she called me all the way back here, and I'm like, yo, I could have stayed where I was, bro. You called me way the fuck out here. So me, was she in Jacksonville first and you were in New York? Y'all nah, came together? No, I moved her out here to Jacksonville originally. Right, so basically you came first? You came to Jacksonville first? And you moved her out here with you? When we came to Jacksonville in April, before that we came here to visit. We came here in April. I brought her with me. I left in August because she was still putting her hands on me. I came back in September because she said she needed help with the baby. She didn't have none. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I came back. I would have stayed where the fuck I was. I came all the way back here just for it to continue. Mm -hmm. So basically, you've been pretty toxic for the past five years. Uh, like, and I've done everything for her. You know what I'm saying? Like, she come from where she didn't have shit. And then it's like, she, if you would see her, in some of these videos I got, bro, like, I'm, I be quiet. Like, and it's not just because I'm recording. I'm naturally just like that. I don't like conflict. I don't been shot. I got problems. You know you what I'm saying? You shot? I've been shot. Here in, in New York. In New York. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, she's been off her medication. Anytime she off her medication. Where's she diagnosed with? Uh, um, I believe it's, uh, she, the, uh, I don't even know. It's like an anger uh, problem that she has. Know. Some. It's like no. Nah, what kind of bed she on? She takes uh, citrulline. Citrulline? Yeah. How you spell that? Um, hell, if I know, I had that. Me either. Uh, yeah, I'll she, guess. Okay. She has mental health problems. Like, is she still on the citrulline? Yeah, she just ran out. You know what I'm saying? She's supposed. She hasn't got her refill, and that's a lot of the times why she spaz out on me because the citrulline keep her calm. The only time we're not fighting is when she's on her medicine. All right. All right, man, I've heard you. Um, to make your question, the past five years, you say it's toxic, and I, I listen, I, get, I can tell it's toxic, all right? I can tell. My question, though, is have you ever put your hands on her before? No. I was, ever in five years? You're saying when, that? No, look, I'm I'm going to be 100% honest. Be with real with me. Yeah, because okay. I'm not a I'm lying not saying, ass nigga. Yeah, we fought. I'm not saying nothing wrong. That's something yeah, wrong. I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, we fought. Like, I've, we've had altercations where we come from. When I came out here, all that shit I left in New York. I said I was starting over. If you was going to come with me, I didn't want to bring the drama. She brought every female that I ever dealt with up since we moved out here in this cause problems but I left because I was always a cheater so I said yo um we gonna make it work we're gonna move out here but she brought that shit out here she beat me up all at hotels and shit like that like mm -hmm. right so you're saying that in five years you've never put your hand on before and I'm, I ain't talking about that. fighting I'm talking about as far as she pissed you off and, and you punched off. her before Ever. I never just be, be real. Off. I just never hold off and punch her. Okay, how about push her, put your hands on her in any no, kind of physical way, we, ever in five years? In five years, I never just haul off and just hit her, no. Okay, so tell me about a time where you have put your hands on her before, physically. Well, we was fighting today. Not, to, not, uh, not today. today uh, I'm talking about as far as the time where she pissed you off I've never and got you went hit, after her. I never got pissed off and just went after her. Never? No. So it's always been her? That's not 100% of the time. She's always bitching about females, bruh. Like, that ass. She, her whole Do you ever get mad at her messing with dudes? Ever? We, that just started when we got here. Okay, so you're saying that it's just started out here. So you're saying when you got out here, she started messing with some other dudes. I don't did know it make who you she, upset? I don't, I don't know who she messing with. It didn't make me upset because I do what I do. Right. I don't really care about what you're doing, shorty. 
I don't give a fuck. You can fuck off on who you want. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't make me mad. That's why I just didn't want you around me. Right, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Like that was the whole reason. That was the whole reason for getting the restraint. I don't want nothing to do with that part of it. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck about who you dealing with or how you deal with them. But don't antagonize me and beat on me about what I done did and you doing it now. I get it. But my question though, and it just again, you know. In five years, no. You tell me never, in five years, I've you've never been just beat your behind, pretty much. Bro, I've never just that's that's on my mama, bro. I've never just lashed out and hit her, never. Like I'm not even that type of nigga to just lash out and just jump on you and and beat her, no. All right, so whenever you guys do get into a fight, then, all right, do you swing back? Today I did, yes. Okay, gotcha. Yes. So tell me about that. She was hitting me. So and like we Where was she hitting you at? When she was hitting me, I you don't see my lip busted. I see lip, I see. My lip else. busted. She had done she pulling my hair. She was, she had done slap me three or four times before okay. that shit even happened. So what'd what you said. do? Hmm? Like as far as like as far as fighting back, what did you do in response? I to I her? was I I was swinging with my head down. Okay. She had me by my hair. Right. So basically, she was like on you. Yeah, I was swinging. I was swinging with my head down. We walked up on the floor. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Cause she had me by my hair. Like how many times did, did you think you might hit her? I don't, bro. I just just taking a wild guess. I mean, I I know it was a crazy situation, so I'm not saying you was counting each time you you swung. I back. wasn't swinging like punching her. You just like this kind of. I was I was just like you get off of me like you you on my hair. And that was the extent to your part, correct? You said what? I'm saying as far as like as far as trying to get her off you, that's pretty much all you did. You didn't, you didn't try to hit her. You didn't oh, punch her. okay. She had me by my head. I was trying to get her off me. Right. I'm like, yo, get off of me. So I saw her at the hospital, right? Yeah. How did she? All right. As far as her face, how did her face get like that? Look at my rings, bro. And I know, but I'm asking you a question, dog. All right, how did her face get like I that? I don't know what you're saying. Like, what her face? Her look face like? is I, jacked up, bro. I didn't see her face. I I did. I saw her face. Her face is jacked up. Cuts, marks, bumps, everything, dog. The Fresh. Fresh. Okay? So this again, all right? Listen, man. I'm not saying that, that you know that you're a bad person. I'm not saying nothing like that's that. That's not dog. how it happened. But listen for a second, all right? You you kinda give me your story and that's and that's all good. Now I just want to talk to you. All right. And let's let me talk now. Right. Okay. I went to the hospital for before I came here. All right. I spoke to her. I saw her. Okay. And she beat up. I right? had teeth. Period. I ain't talking about a teeth, dog. Okay. Cause she told me she lived there. She even said she had what's it called again? Partial. Partial. She she told me that already. Okay? I, I was swinging, bruh, but But uh, listen, but her face is all marked up. Okay? It's all marked up. Scratches, fresh scratches, like the fresh scratches cuts. From the rings, bruh. Right. But listen, okay? It's not no just trying to get off me, dog. Just tell me what happened, man. We was fighting, and It's man. okay to just be real about it, dog. I didn't just haul off. I, that's not what happened, B. I'm telling you. Whether you haul off or not, when you was punching back, how were you punching her? I was swinging over my head. I wasn't beating her. No, never. Okay. So you're saying that all the marks on her face, all the, the bumps on her face, her hands all smashed up. Her hands, her hand like that from me trying to get that hammer from right. her. Well, she, she kind of clarified that part for me. But her face, how do you explain that? Her face, I was swinging. We was fighting before we Your went to the ground. Your fist didn't connect with her face? Huh? Your fist didn't hit her face or connect with it pretty good? You saying that it did, I, my head was down. No, I saw her face, man. Yeah, but I'm I saying saw it. my head was down. I was fighting with my head down. She had me by my hair. You know what I'm saying? So, so I was so just... how long did, did this last, you think? We was fighting for probably like like five minutes, bro. That's a long time. A long time you fighting, dog. She had me so, by my hair the whole time. I got you. So... Tell me, like, you know, like, what I should think. If I'm sitting looking at you, all right, now I do see the mark on your nose. It looks like it's, you know, it's like a, it's an old cut. Um, that just happened not too long ago. I got you, but it's not from today, all right? But tell me, like, you know, what, what you would think if you were in this my right shoes. Here, like... If you were in my shoes, listen, listen, man. You were in my shoes, what would you think, okay? I go to her. Her face is basically beat the hell up, all right? I come to you, and I see that you got a busted lip. Right there. And that's all I see though. So what should I think? That's up to your discretion. 
But no, what should I think? Well, he was fighting. If it was your sister, right? Let's just say if it was your sister. And let's say if you saw a face like that and she told you that her boyfriend just beat the hell out of her and you see her face all jacked up and you go see the dude and you see like a little scratch on his, on, you know, his leg, what would you think? What would you think? Bro, my whole shit busted in the middle, bro. Listen, I can't I, even see it until you show me, okay? Right. I'm just telling you, compared to your injuries, I'm sorry, compare your injuries to her injuries. What would you think if it was your sister or your- Bro, I don't know. I was mama. swinging. I just, I just told you, like, I was swinging. We went to the ground. She had me by my hair. And it was like, yo, she's pulled out hair. Like, for real. Like, I had to get this whole shit redone. Like, I'm not just sitting here. From like, today? Not from today. So no, today she pulled uh, out hair. Yes. Right, I'm talking about as far as today goes. All right. I'm as talking about today the past. She pulled out hair. Because here's the thing I don't doubt that you're also a victim. She pulled right? my you hair are, out listen, today. Listen, you are definitely a victim of domestic violence, okay? You are. She I'm not saying, hair. listen, I'm not saying that you're not. Okay? I'm not saying you're not a victim because you are a victim. For five years, you've been dealing with this mess. It's toxic. But bro, it's getting was, dangerous, dog. Cause here's the thing: she can kill you one day. Bro, I was you know just that, right? trying to get her off of me, bro. Like that's why I was swinging. I wasn't looking to where I was punching. I was just swinging because she was still coming. She had me by my hair. We went to the floor. Like I wasn't focusing where I so was for punching. For five minutes, she was basically on you. You trying to get off of you? She was on me. She had me by my wig, bro. I'm trying to keep what I got left because she done pulled it out so many times. My hair, I value. She done pulled my shit out to where mm -hmm. I had to get it recrocheted in. I got you. Like, it's not a game. Like, I'm not just sitting here. It's not a game. You wouldn't be sitting like, here. Like, she had me by my shit like this the whole time. I'm like, this, get the fuck off of me. And she didn't care. I got you. I got you. Like I said, I, like I said you know, I'm not saying you're not a victim. All right? Shit, wow. Did, did I say you're not a victim, though? Nah, I just, I didn't, like, I never, like, just haul off and hit her. I don't. I'm not even that type, bro. I don't spoil her. That's why she the way she is. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why, like, it's crazy, bro. That's the reason why she the way she is. Right. Wait, where you work again? I work I at performance right. personnel. I work for Toyota. Like, my whole job and everything. And then it's like, she don't. Toyota? Yeah. Where's it at? Um, Friction Road. I work at a. Um, what do you do there? I drive cars. Okay. I already know they said they was arresting me, bro. And then like, with the baby. So you're saying that this happened because the baby stand up, uh, stood up from the um in the car seat. And that was how that's how it worked out. He stood up and that's why he fell. Okay. All right. Look, hear what she told me. All right. I'm just gonna tell you what she told me. Is that cool? You wanna hear this? Okay. So she said that you wanted to borrow her phone because your phone had died. Okay. Cause you got into an accident. Mm -hmm. You went to go borrow a phone to call your insurance company. Is that right? Is that yeah. accurate? To call my insurance company? To call your insurance company. Okay. Is that right? You, I'm letting you tell you. you, said you I'm asking you, is that like, so far am I right? Yeah. Okay, so you went to go call your insurance. And I guess you went on the phone, you saw that she was talking to some dude. All right? That's not accurate. That, right, but as she said, it happened. You got into an argument with her, you started fighting with her as far as verbally. It was a verbal argument at first. And at some point, while like she's sitting on the couch, you started hitting her. Okay. That's inaccurate. You got into it. You got into a fight with her. It got physical. Mm -hmm. You guys are basically fighting back and forth. She said that she went to go get a hammer because she was trying to basically defend herself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but I guess you took the hammer out of her hand. You were trying to get it out of her hand. At some point, I guess the hammer hit her hand, and that's why it's so swole like that. Then she tried to leave. Which is something that you also said she was trying to leave, but um, but just saying it was because you know I guess after the baby fell out the car seat, she tried, to she tried to run off, and you said nah, you're finna leave you in the baby. You're trying to leave you with the baby. Right. Right. So you 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 know right there in front of the door, and she runs past you, and gets out. She okay? pushed, yeah, she pushed she me pushed you out with the baby. Yeah. I was right. holding him. And while you was holding the baby, um, first of all, he fell the first time. Out of the, the car seat. Yeah. Did you hit it front of his head or back of the head? He hit the front of his head. The front when, of his head. When she pushed me, I was holding him against my chest. Right. She pushed me into the door, B. I All was right. holding him trying to get outside. So to when the car. she pushed you into the door, did his head hit the wall again? That's the wall. That's what happened when she pushed me into the door. His head his hit head the wall. The, wall, the back I'm, of his head. The or side, his one head? of the sides. I think okay. it's one of the sides. So now I'm like, yo, you just pushed me against the door with the baby. So now I'm outside because she ran into the neighbors. Now my neighbor next door, I've told them if they see anything call police because really 
I was supposed to have a serve with the injunction. But yeah, you should have called police. Since tomorrow, day. since tomorrow was, and this is the thing right here. She always get me with my baby. You understand what I'm saying? The whole shit with me seeing something in her phone, we've been talking. I wouldn't even look through it. For the simple fact is, I already know because of what we don't already discuss. <coughs> so right. that's a non-factor. So that's a lie. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? She came. She's been talking to my baby mother in New York. You know what I'm saying? And yesterday, before she, I even seen her, she hit me with the... The whole time she was pregnant, I was fucking off with my other baby mom and I got a, another baby, you know what I'm saying? And I got a nine-year-old that I need to get paternity for. That's not even mine. So she already came with vengeance because she had been talking to my baby mom and she ain't been around me, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So she like, oh, you ain't tell me this. This was her argument. It's been all day. She's been <laughs> arguing me about the same shit, but you was originally supposed to bring the baby because his birthday is tomorrow. Mm-hmm, gotcha. So you say that, um, again, so basically all that, what she's saying not true, except for, other than the part about you calling because you had to use her phone because your phone was dead. That part, that part is true. is true. That's it. But the, uh, I just started hitting her because of uh, mm -hmm. what was in her phone. Mm -hmm. That's inaccurate. The reason why is because we done already, this, that's what we was arguing about, about me fucking on bitches in New York and you fucking on niggas out here. Right. So why would I need to look through your phone if that's what the whole argument has been about? Right. I didn't need to look through your phone. I got you. Back up earlier, you said that you couldn't find your phone. But now you confirm that it was your phone was dead by using your phone. I couldn't find my phone. You know what I'm saying? When we was fighting, I couldn't find my phone. I'm talking about before that. You said that. Cause for your, all right, first you said that you couldn't find your phone. You, you just lost your phone. I didn't say I lost it. You asked me what happened to my phone. I remember what oh, exactly. okay. you asked I me. You. you asked me what my phone was. I remember right. exactly what you said. I said, I couldn't find it. You said, when y'all was fighting, when it was time to record, why didn't you record? I said, I couldn't find my phone. Okay. Okay. You're right. But the phone was dead, though, anyways. The phone was dead. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, I it said had, dead. It Not died dead. when I was on the phone with the insurance company. She had to borrow her phone. So I said, yo, can you dial a number for me? Right. And you got on the phone with the insurance company. Did you, did you finish filing your claim? Like, no, nah, she started fighting with me. She said that I was... That, so you were on the phone at the time. I'm on the phone with the insurance company, filing the phone with the phone to my face, bro. And she over there arguing about bitches that I was fucking off on still. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So... The phone was in my hand. I was filing the claim. She snatched the phone out of my hand. Why are you on the phone? With the insurance company. Okay. So that's when she started. That's when it, it really got crazy. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm filing the insurance claim. You right. know what I'm saying? I was, I was on the phone. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna continue with the story, but uh, again, her version. And she said that basically, whenever she ran out the door and ran to the neighbor. At some point, you ran down the street to the neighbor. I went there too. And when she got to the neighbor, I'm sorry, when you got down the street to the neighbor, she noticed that the baby was, was uh, you know, screaming, crying. He was already lip. crying. And um, she asked what happened. You said he must have fell or he fell out of your hand. Is that correct? No. Okay. So you're saying that's all a lie? Yeah. Okay. Did you talk to your neighbor at all? Um. Who? The, the one that was sitting there, the one that called um the dude. Yeah, the guy that was sitting there whenever she was talking. Even, I don't even remember. I just because a guy that you know, it's a guy that was there. Yeah, I told him I wanted him to call because this has been ongoing. I was like, right. I'm glad you called because this has been ongoing. She really. So when he called police, what you guys do then? She took off, and right. she because the baby, she took off down the street with the baby. Right. You know what I'm saying? I went and I got in the car because. We were supposed to be calling the police so they can come. Once I seen her running down the street with the baby, I went, got in my car, and I'm like, we going to the hospital. My mind was to go figure out where she was at, cause I already knew the police. I wasn't running. We was on our way to the hospital. She didn't look up, and the baby, she was fighting with me. The whole time I had him in my hand, you know what I'm saying? When I ran into the door, she knew, cause I, st I stopped her. When he fell on his head, he stood up in the car seat while we was on the floor fighting over the hammer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I picked them up. It's a mess, you know that? It is, bro. It's a mess, dog. I, I ain't, it's like, a mess. And like, I don't understand why. Listen, I don't care if you have a kid with money or not, dog. Like, there's no reason to go through any of this for any female. It's not, bro. 
Like I'm so five in, years of this, bro. I'm so embarrassed, bro. Like I talked to my mom, and my mom like, like, bro, you need to get yourself together, like, cause I really cared about her. You feel me? Like, and then I got a baby. You feel me? And it's like, like I love my son. You feel me? But she don't seem to care as much, and it pissed me off because it's like, yo, I be dealing with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like I take it normal ninety percent of the time. I don't never say nothing. Right. And it's because I'm a man, 90% of niggas look at me and be like, ah, nah, you capping. That ain't what's happening, but it's what's happening. Well, men man. can be victims too of domestic violence, okay? And clearly you are as well. And then she but lied. the thing is, then but I listen. Said it, she lied. Look at my hands, bro. They all, the, every mark on my body is from her, B. My face didn't look like this. Like, right. I got rings on my hands. Of course, she probably got scratches. I was swinging. I got rings on. Mm -hmm. Do you, um, as far as going to jail, you been in jail before ever? Yeah. When? Whenever she, she got me arrested one time because she bust my window while we both got arrested. What was it in Jacksonville? Or was Not it in, in uh, New York. New York. But yeah, I so what was that about? Because I was in another car with a female. I mm -hmm. was in my car with another female. And, um, she walked up on my car and started beating on my windshield. And then what happened? She bust my window with a bottle. We got into it in front of the house. I called the police. They came, and because we both had injuries, we got arrested. Okay. I told them she busted my window. They seen she busted it. She said I hit her. That was enough. At some point, man, you guys, uh, I mean, I hope. I honestly hope this is the last time you guys are together, man. Okay, you can figure out how to how, how to co-parent, but this this gotta stop. But I like, I I didn't like. It's crazy because she, all she had to do, all she had to do was not snap off. Like you mad at me, but you doing the same thing. How you gonna be mad? You mad about what happened months ago? But you gonna bring it way the fuck out here, and when I say so what? When I say so what? You get mad and you wanna put your hands on me. You slapping me all in my shit. You ain't punching me, but you slapping me. You know what I'm right. saying? My ears and shit ringing, cause you slapping me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing there, pow, pow, I'm getting hit. But it ain't, she not punching me out. Alright. So you guys not together right now? No. But y'all have the child together. Yo. I think she moved out of, like to a friend's house. Is that correct? She been more. She never lived with me. Never have. No. She said that you've been living together since like last month. She never does lived she have, with me. Does she have her stuff in your house? No. So none of her stuff's in your house. Where's the my mom and my baby? None of her belongings are at my house. Okay. They moved. I got a report for burglary because she came to pick up her belongings. They were on my porch. The reason why they were on my porch. It's because she got evicted. She didn't have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. When I came back here in September, I didn't know she was getting evicted. She didn't tell me. So I didn't find out until October that she was getting evicted. I looked for a place and I put my name and my baby name on the lease. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And she said she had a friend house she was gonna move to, but she didn't want to take all of her stuff there. So. She brought it to the house as it was sitting on the porch. She just moved it all off the porch about four days ago. She came to move the stuff, and then she went and broke into my studio in the back, took my laptop, my monitors, and my uh, my other monitor that I transmit my music to. I just do devious stuff. I, and then before, before she, before y'all came, she goes, Oh, and you broke my teeth, so I'm going to sell your stuff. So if it show up at a pawn shop, you know who did it. Yeah. Yeah, this, this got to stop, man. All right. And it's crazy because, bro, I be at home. I don't bother her. And I'm not harassing her. How you saw her today? How I saw her today? She yeah, she just came to your house? She called. No, she didn't just come to the house. She called you first? She called me, and she was like, I'm about, I'm about to come over because your baby birthday tomorrow, and I want you to spend his first birthday with her. So I ain't trip. When she popped, when she popped, I didn't trip. You know what I'm saying? Like I was happy to see my baby when she popped up. Mm -hmm. I didn't trip. Okay. 
and another thing like was there ever a time like because she said that you had you know i guess like during the time that y'all were fighting the one point where she rolled up i guess you were on top of her and you were i guess like like bear hugging her did you like choke at all a little bit no okay. did you in, like no unintentionally no. do it i never put my arms or nothing i never bear hugged or choked her or nothing well i was on her like this getting the hammer that's the only time he was on the floor you were on her Trying to get the hammer out of her hand? Not trying to get the hammer out of her hand. Okay. That's right. the only time I was over her or on her was when I was trying to get that hammer out of her hand. I got you. All right, man. So you're saying no chance that you probably blacked out no. and went off on her because, no. like I said, it looked like, it looked like somebody no. blacked out on her. No. That's all I know. No. I, that's where the my kids are Because what I see is her face is beat there. Bro, hell. where the my kids are there, and I just started swinging. My head was down. She had me by my hair. You know what I'm saying? That's what she do. She always go through my hair. She want to rip my shit out. Had me looking mm -hmm. crazy. I said I had to get it sold back in before. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. But the whole time she she had to slap me a few times before even grabbing my hair and busting my lip like this shit crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like I'm like this, and we I'm going with my hands like get the fuck off of me. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You trying to rip my shit out, and when I say rip it out, it take a lot to get these to detach. Right. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I just started swinging. You know, I wasn't looking at where I was connecting or intentionally uh, beating her up. No, I just get off of me. Like, yeah. trying to, like, shit crazy, B. Okay. All right, man. All right, man. Last question. Sit down. Take a seat. Let me go to sleep. Last question. All right. So you guys are not together, right? No. Do you guys still have sex, though? We haven't. Yeah, haven't? We, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I do? Okay. When did you guys have sex? Like a few days ago. So when you think one today? No. We ain't fucked for days now. Okay. But you guys do have sex like a regular, regular yeah. basis. All right. Well, don't be in charge of it, bro. Be in charge with um, with domestic battery. All right. False imprisonment and child neglect. All right. False imprisonment. Yeah. How would that come from? But keeping inside the house. I never come inside the house. That's said, man. She you know? she tried to leave me with the baby, so the door was open. I opened it. I never so tried. According to what she said. And according to what you said too. I just said it. You know, don't right. leave me with the baby. I had the baby. Like but the said, door was open. I never held her restricted or nothing. I got you. But again, that's what I have. Okay? So what's she being charged with? Nothing right now. Okay? But this is like this is why I said, man, you gotta make sure you get out of this, okay? And you said child endangerment? Child neglect. How? Not not child endangerment, child neglect. How child neglect? Because while you're trying to basically tell her she can't leave the house with this baby, or I'm saying leave with the baby. You hold the baby in your hand, and you basically prevent her from getting out of the house. No, I didn't. Okay? How does that prevent her from getting out of the house? What Listen. I said, my exact words. Was, I'm telling you your charges, dog. Yeah. So just tell it to your attorney, all right? All right. Um, I know he was done where he went. I'm trying to figure out. I need to call somebody. He said false imprisonment because I said she wasn't going to leave me with the baby. You know what I'm saying? But I never held her in the house with the door closed. That's how she got out because the door was open. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just spent off. I was trying to talk to him. but Was well, there something for you to talk to the judge about? Well, that's what he said. That's what I'm being charged with. That's what he just told me. He okay. said you're being charged with false imprisonment. Uh -huh. 
How's it false imprisonment if I'm not blocking her doorway to get out? My only, if I say you can't just leave me with a baby, that's not false imprisonment. Okay, that's fine. Like I say, that's something for you I to understand. talk to the judge about. Can you about. just take me back to the book thing? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do some paperwork. Once we get done, we'll, we'll take it down, okay? All right. All right. Can I get something to drink or something? You want something to drink? Yeah. All right. Alright man, stand up real quick, anybody back? Put him to the only prank, be easy on the wrist, there you go. Alright man, like I said, um, so here's the deal, alright? Make sure you get to felonies, right? just get out of this, okay? Get out of this situation. They all felonies. They all felonies, okay? Yes, you're being charged with four, it's four felonies, okay? It's gonna be false imprisonment, it's gonna be child yeah. neglect, it's gonna be uh, domestic battery by strangulation. I didn't strangle but you said you did, okay? And then also uh, aggravated battery, okay? With the hammer. Again, just talk to your attorney about it. Tell them what the deal is. With the hammer, I'm getting it from her. Listen, we already talked about it, we already done. It's the charges. I'm not saying you're convicted of it, but you but are being charged today with that, okay? I'm, yeah, but I'm telling you, I'm asking you because she has the hammer. That's what we was trying to She said she had the hammer. She did. And, but then you took it from her. And, and shot her outside. Her right hand is swollen, okay? Real bad, so. Okay, and just next time you don't, okay? Alright, good luck, man.